Yo guys, what's up? If I'm looking a little bit fucking tired and sleepy right now, it's because we are on day three of the Rite of Passage program, which is our uh, two-week boot camp where we do like fucking 10 hours a day of day game, night game, text game, all this shit. The students are living with us and everything. Um, I've had two coffees already today, so like eight shots of espresso, Red Bull, that's what you need to... Uh, to stay fueled during this shit. So what we're doing right now is we're doing a debrief of the previous night where uh, the students were pulling. So we're just like going through and talking about like sticking points, like things they could improve on. And obviously like talking about the things that they did do really well because they, they fucking killed it. They absolutely fucking killed it. So we're gonna go in now. Obviously we can't show you the students and their faces for like privacy reasons and that kind of thing, but um, we'll, we'll take you guys in here so you can get kind of like an idea of what it looks like. I think that solves a lot of problems. Really. I think that solves a lot of problems because then she's gonna stop running around. Like, she's just gonna stop running around, she's gonna submit. And she's gonna get hornier. Objections fucking go out the window. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't say this. I didn't say this, but that solves the problem, straight up. Uh, controversial advice, but I think it's literally like what's needed. Like, that would be my, my move. Yeah, but other, other than that, what's your plan? Well, like, what was your plan? Because you, you can't dance your dick like in. That, but I, I, yeah. I didn't take that extra step. Yeah. That's yeah. And, and also, with, with a girl like this, massage or shit like that is not gonna work. It's just, it's not gonna work. Yeah, the, the, these are, okay, so some girls, they're like dancing like very, they're, they're they're, they're, yeah, like what is it? they're dancing like I don't want to say violently because that's not that's not the right word, but they're, but they're really dancing, like they're trying to get as much attention on them as possible. And they're like you know when girls they like pretend to like make out with each other and shit to make every guy look at them. They're just validation baiting. They're attention baiting. And what's gonna happen when you go in is it's gonna blow you out immediately. It's a horrible like timing to open them. Actually, the best thing you can do is. You, you be close to them, but you completely ignore them. You don't look at them. Yeah. They're gonna start like, come closer to you, you're gonna start chasing. So you, you just don't wanna open them at that moment when they're in that like, validation, attention-seeking mode. If you see them later at the bar and the, the dynamic is different, then obviously like, you, can, you, can, you can go in. But just don't go in when they're doing that like, uh, attention baiting. Yeah, we saw, yeah. saw a virgin train, as you called it. Oh yeah, when they're holding their hands, yeah. The, the virgin train, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you're gonna open those, yeah. you need to open the girl in the front. Yeah. You need to open the you need to open the uh, the uh, the train driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, but it's just because of your positioning. Yeah. It's because of your positioning. It was not a reflection of like their compliance or attraction or anything. Yeah, because yeah. They were. No, because either they make eye contact with you or they make eye contact with the bartender they're ordering from. Which one are they gonna choose? Doesn't matter what you do. Like they will choose the bartender. <laughs> You should have stood next to one of them instead of standing behind both of them. Because then even, you were doing everything like perfectly because they were ignoring you at first. But then you're slowly like winning them over by being charismatic, being expressive. But since you're behind them, it's just it, everything you do is going to feel chasing no matter what. And it's so easy to just like completely block you out of the conversation. They just need to, if they're talking to you like this, they just need to go like this. And now you're like forced to chase and like, yeah. And also like the two girls on the dance floor. I feel like there, mm, well, there were two sets on the dance floor. First of all, you open a blonde and a brunette, yes. a little bit older. There, you have to pick the target. You have to make it very clear because yes. the, the one that you were going for, she was not being compliant to you because she thought that you were like going for her friend. Yes. So she doesn't want to like, yes. yeah. Fuck, like you're all leaving for random reasons. You're all leaving the set for like random reasons. Oh, because this, oh, because that, but actually like, not because you don't have attraction, not because you know you got an objection you can overcome. You're leaving for like la random reasons. You just it goes for everyone. You just fucking stay, stay and try to make something happen. And also, when you're in the when you're in the interactions, I might message you and tell you what to say and what to do. Okay. So you just keep an eye on your phone. 
if it's longer or yeah, yeah especially if it's longer if it's like a short one i probably won't say anything yeah. but if it's like a longer one let's say you're in an instant date you're getting into like objections yes. i will tell you what to say okay i will tell you how to crush it yeah perfect perfect, perfect. I'll look i will tell you like which angle to take all of this so yeah yes yeah, so right now i have him hooked up i'm listening here and we're writing down notes on everything that he's doing in the interaction. He's talking to a Vietnamese girl, it's fucking killing, it's going really, really well. And after it, I'm going, to, I'm going to give him feedback right away on everything that he should have done differently. No, like I feel like, yeah, he's, he's killing it so much, but I don't think he's recognizing how much he's killing it. So he's, he's closing for an IG when he could actually probably pull. It's my read. It's probably because it's early in the session, he wants to do more interactions, but I feel like it's much better if he goes deeper into one rather than doing like a lot. Still good, still great. Uh, but I always preferred, uh, I always prefer you guys just try to take it as far as possible. Because then you're gonna reveal like much deeper like sticking points, which you know, you're not gonna have as many opportunities to practice objection handling as you would practice opening or DHVing, obviously. So that's why I feel like that's a bit more valuable. Great opening, great DHVing. We'll just do like a really quick like rundown. Yeah. Uh, it's funny she didn't believe you that you said you were going to Vietnam. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Nah, but it, it, it's a really good set. Uh, but I feel like you, you just left too early. You could have done so much more with that. Uh, instead of the IG, you could have simply just like a really quick screen. Like, hey, like, what are you doing right now? If, no, if I, 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 I should have done that. Yeah, just, just a really quick screen, like, what are you doing? So at least you know what you're working with. And it's just like, yeah, I'm just fucking killing time. Yep. So it's like, all right. Let's grab a drink, let's do this, whatever, and then you can pull. Because I think with, with these girls, you don't need a lot of sexualization, you just need like a little bit. You just convey that like, you know, I think dominance is like a good angle with Vietnamese girls, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Like, I mean, every Asian, fucking every girl, whatever, <laughs> every girl, every girl, yeah. every girl. Uh, very much. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I think that would have been easy. And like a really easy way to just transition into that. You'd be talking about like cultural differences where you can contrast the US or, or Poland towards like Vietnam, where there are clearly like much more defined like gender roles. Like in men in Vietnam, there are masculine, women are very feminine. Mm, you yeah. can talk about that. There must be something that you're missing over here because it's clearly not the same. Yeah, you can see it in guys, guys in the streets uh, here, like yeah. they, they don't have that. Right, so that's why it must be very difficult for you to find guys that you're attracted to around here. Yeah. Yes, that's true. And then, because you frame them in like this low value way, you can come in and you can create contrast by essentially just displaying these masculine traits. Yeah. It's a fucking dumb deal. You get her to agree to this. Now, this is the condition for where uh, attraction is going to be like created from. Mm. You get her to agree, it's like, yeah, this is what I like, this is what I'm attracted to. Yeah. Yeah. It's what I value. That's good, bro. Okay, let's, let's keep going. Yeah, yeah. So. I told him to open the super fucking hot girl who walked by him. I'm like, yo, bro, you, you're turning around, you're going for this one. And he's standing there now, it looks, it looks really fucking good. She looks really hooked. So just to give some context, I told him right before speaking to this girl that he, you know, he's, he's Australian, he's like super charismatic, like very confident. So it's going to be very easy for him to create a lot of attraction very quick. Uh, and the way he's really going to convert the most girls is going to be to uh, essentially like do like an instant date or something like this, sit down and sexualize, handle objections, pull. Um, so that's really his goal, it's just to go in and hook really hard, go in really strong, and then essentially just, you know, go sit down somewhere, sexualize, turn her on, pull. It's that simple. Guys make this out to be so, so complex and so all this shit. No, no, it is really this simple. It is really this simple uh, once you know how to do these things. Oh, look, okay, look, look. Obviously, we can't show that for privacy reasons, both for the students and the girls, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's right there right now. Simple as that. You feel me? Yeah. Alright. So essentially, uh, we're, he's with another girl now, even hotter, even hotter. Uh, they're going right there now, they're gonna, he's going to take her for a coffee, he's going to do exactly what I told him to do. So take her for a coffee, he's gonna sit down, he's gonna slowly, slowly, slowly like get her to qualify, open up, then he's gonna sexualize and then it should be a done deal. Pull straight home, that's what we're going for. We don't do this shit like we're like farming in numbers or like useless fucking Instagrams, no, no, no. When we go out, we're gonna try to pull, that's it. Fuck these numbers, fuck these Instagrams, pulling. No settling with fucking uh, consolation prizes. That's what you call it, yeah? Consol consolation prize, that's what you call it. No, no, we don't do that. 
pulling, motherfuckers. All right, so um, he's on the instant date right now. It's sounding really good. I can hear everything that's happening, so that's fucking cool. Uh, so essentially, we're wrapping up the coaching session. Uh, we're doing two coaching sessions every day during these boot camps. Uh, we're wrapping it up in like an hour or so. I have a girl coming over from, like, I don't even know if she's from like Raya or something. Uh, she's coming over in an hour and 15 minutes or so. So I'm running a really tight schedule here. And then we're doing another coaching session in maybe uh, something like three hours or so. So we're running a little bit on limited time here. But you know, for some reason, time is always on my side. I don't know why. Uh. Rage, money, power, and...